Hi everyone, welcome to QS Tag. Today we are going to see how we can compare two JSON files which are having elements but not in the exact order. This is a very famous interview question. So without further ado, let's get started. So two JSON objects having same elements but different order. Let's take an example. Response one. So let's take a very basic example. So here we have one JSON which is having a field employee and under which it has having three elements, full name, ID and age. And we have to compare it with another response, response to, let's say, which is again another JSON having same M elements. Only if you observe closely, the order of the elements is different. So here, you can see full name, age and ID, whereas in the response one, you will get the ID element before age. So when we when you will compare these two JSONs via normal comparison, it would return false because the order is different. So let's see how we can compare this. So JSON are if you want to represent a JSON object via any data structure, tree would be the best structure to explain that. So a nested JSON could be considered as a tree having several nodes and each node represents, each node contains a value. So to compare two JSONs, obviously we have to use a comparison algorithm which can be applicable to a tree data structure. So for comparing two JSONs, we can use a level or a traversal in which we can compare all the nodes at one level and that's how we can compare the two JSONs. You, you'll see this clearly in the next slide where I'll be showing you how we divide a JSON in levels. Now, if the entire tree is traversed or entire JSON is traversed and there is no level at which objects found are different then we can consider that the two JSONs are equal. So here you see these are the two JSON objects for comparing it let's divide it into two level level one which will contain the first level which will have this employee and then we'll have level two which will contain all these three elements. So we are going to compare a list. We'll create a list at each level having these elements with their values and we will be comparing these two lists or you can say sets so that order should not matter while comparison. So that's how we go ahead with comparison. But uh, in real life scenarios, we already have a library which provides the JSON comparison. Uh, an inbuilt method to compare these JSONs. So let's go ahead and see that. So the library which I was talking about was JSON data bind library. You can install it using the dependency. I'll share the dependency in the description box. So first of all, you'll have to get the JSON object. Get both the JSON objects which you want to compare then using the object mapper class of JSON Jackson data bind library, you have to initialize an object of object mapper. Then you can use the method mapper.readTree, which reads the string in the form of JSON node. Then you can compare these two nodes using an assertion and this will return you a result which will be not dependent on the sequence of elements. Now let's just see the coding part. So here I have created a test case, validate JSON objects under which we'll be writing our test. We'll be writing our test. In helper methods, I have created a class response comparison in which we will be writing our method for comparing the responses or comparing the JSONs. And I have also created two sample JSONs which we are going to compare. Let me show you first what's the difference between these two JSONs. 
this is the json viewer beautified format of each json this is the first one and this is the second one so if you observe closely so here the only difference is that the it is having all the elements same it's just the order in which the elements are appearing in the under the tag author that is last name and first name and for the second it is appearing like first name and last name also another difference is here you see the order in which author title category and editor is coming here the order is author editor title category so the category and the editor are having are not in order so now let's go back to the editor and let's write our function so here we will be writing a method a common method in a helper class and then we will be calling this method in our test case First of all, I'll have to read a JSON, read data from this JSON. If you are, for that I'm going to use JSON parser. Dot parse method and then I'll be providing the file read and here I'll be mentioning the path of my This is the path. Now reading the data, this could create an exception. So we should surround it using a try catch block. Now the next error it's giving that uh, the right hand side is returning an object. So we have to typecast it if we want to store it in a JSON object. Okay. So we're going to do the similar thing for object 2. And we are going to read the JSON 2. So after reading, next thing is, as I mentioned, I will be creating an instance of object mapper class. Now using this mapper object, and the method read tree I'm going to compare these two JSONs I'm getting an error bring JSON JSON object one not in scope so to bring it I'm getting this error because I have instantiated it under a try catch block. So instantiating it outside the block. Repeating the same thing for the second object. Now again this might return an error so we have to surround it using a try catch block 
or we can declare it in the method signature also. So that's it. The method is completed. Now let's just call this from our test. For calling it, I'll be creating an object of response comparison class and then using the method dot compare JSON. So I have in already initialized this object using the beans concept. So I don't have to declare it within my class. So I'm directly using it. So now let's just execute this. It has returned true. You can see our assertion is passed. So that was it for this video. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.